What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be cleaning up the heads for my 4.8 liter. So let's get right to it. Before I get started, I just wanted to show y'all what that stuff did. It literally ate up all of the carbon buildup off of these heads. That is insane. I did nothing else. These heads were completely dirty. So, uh, shout out to my guy, Connor Speed and Performance. He's the one that told me to do this. So, I appreciate your advice on this. Uh, y'all go follow his channel. I'll uh, throw it on the screen right here and I'll leave it linked in the description below. That was super helpful. That probably saved me hours of time. So now what I'm going to go do is throw the other head in. Same little batch of LA's totally awesome I have. And then we're going to start power washing this. Look how clean this head is now. I still got a little work to do, but that is a lot better. And um, I'll, I can scrub the rest of this off with Scotch-Brite, but the hard part is done. And let me flip this head so y'all can see this part. Look how much cleaner this is. And all this gasket and stuff I can take off with my little scraper I didn't think I would be able to get this much off but this is almost ready so uh, last thing I'll probably do is take those springs off and clean on the inside of the valves but that can be next time that's something I can do off camera so uh, this head is pretty much done for now uh, pretty much got it how as clean as I wanted it to be I didn't think it would take this little work I know I did leave a sensor or two in but honestly I'm replacing all my sensors I don't even want to take the risk of putting this motor back together and the sensor being bad so I think this is good to go uh, go ahead and get the other head because it's been soaking since I started on this one and it wasn't nearly as dirty so it should be the same process so let's go ahead and get right to that so I just want to show y'all before I start on this one, this soaked for about, um, I want to say maybe 20 or 30 minutes. And that LA is totally awesome. And look, it's just getting the carbon right off. So that stuff is amazing. And let's go ahead and get started. So we are done with the second cylinder, the one that was cleaner. Um, I let it soak a little bit longer, as y'all can see, and it got a lot of the stuff off. So after I power wash it, throw it right back in here. I'm gonna let it soak a little bit more. So I just wanna get all the carbon off of that bottom side where, where the head gasket sits. Um, that's the most important thing to have clean. Um, so next, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to go ahead and take those valve springs off, which probably won't do that in this video, but take those off, clean in there a little bit. Yeah, that should be 
the last few things I have to do for the heads. All right, we are back again. So this is what we've got. And I mean, there's minimum. There's not any dirt left. I mean, I have some gasket to scrape off. But I need to get down off in there. And on the other side, the uh, runners have a little bit of dirt on them. So, I mean, not a huge deal. But I didn't record me taking it out of this solution and soaking it again. I mean, and spraying it down again. But did this with soaking this in the pressure washer and all this dirt came off. So, these heads almost look brand new again. That's what I was going for. That's going to do it for this video. Um... This worked great. Glad I went with the LA is totally awesome. That was recommended. I don't have the bottles. They're already in the trash because I use them. But you can find them at any dollar store. And yeah. So thank you for recommending that. Connor Speed and Performance again. That was definitely it. And I'll use this to clean everything else that I need. So, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. You don't have to go to a machine shop to clean these up. Just use some basic cleaner. So LA is totally awesome. Soak it. Let it sit overnight. This is how it look. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, that's going to do it for this one. Like the video. Leave a like. Subscribe. Hit that bell. Catch y'all on the next video.